Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley from Pattern Emporium. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Pattern. In these videos, I go through the pattern that we are just about to release to show you exactly what's in the pattern. This week, we are talking about this adorable little top called the Rise and Shine Sleeveless Top. Now I'm gonna take you briefly through a couple of mine, but then I'm going to throw it over to my team and show you theirs. They have graciously made me a whole bunch of videos of their tops because I hurt my arm, so I can't sew. You might notice a few raw edges because I can't do my hems. <laughs> So they have said that they will do the videos for me and I will just narrate them and basically tell you what they have sewn, the size, any adjustments they have made, stuff like that so that you can get a view on real bodies of what this top is like. Let's just go through the basic features. So it has a round neckline and sleeveless armhole. It's finished with a narrow facing or a hidden binding, same thing. So that is on the inside. And so if you did it in a, in a very lightweight fabric like this, you can kind of see like it frames it. Um, but if you do obviously in other fabrics, it's just hidden on the inside. So all you see on the outside is just a top stitch around the edges. It has a flared silhouette that is gently flared. So it's not oversized. It's not one of our really, really easy fish. It's kind of in between. So you can see here, it's got a little bit of flare, a little bit of ease to make it comfortable. Center front seam with or without. It is totally up to you. You can top stitch, not top stitch, leave it off altogether. Two necklines, we have this high neckline and then we have a mid neckline that's a little bit lower. Hemlines, there are four lengths. So there is a cropped, which sits below the waist. So if you have waisted garments, for instance, um, the stretch palazzos, the heart light skirt, those ones that you wear right up at your natural waist, the cropped length is awesome because it comes just below that and you still get like a really nice balance. There are different finishes to your length. So you can just do the basic, simple um, fold up hem. You can do, oh, I've got a dog moving the stand. You can do the hem facing, which is um, a wide hem facing, not as wide as the Be Mine balloon sleeve top, um, but still a gorgeous wide facing or you can do the elastic and you can wear the elastic so that you can you can kind of see the gathered band or you can flip it up and it just has a really soft gather along the bottom so i will show you some of those and it's totally up to you which one you do then in the pattern hack section i have some brief instructions on how you can do a drawstring instead and you can place that drawstring either at center front or at the side if you want to tie it to the side. Now, um, size wise, size four to size 30. So for a straight size, like if you fit into our size chart along one size for your bust and your upper bust, then you have no dart. But if you need um, a one or two size full bust adjustment, those pieces have been done for you for the front and for the hem facing because they're slightly different so you will have a bust start. So fabric wise, obviously woven fabrics. Um, linen is great in all different weights. Rayon is great. You get that really lovely drape in rayon, a lightweight cotton. I would just avoid having anything with too much body in it so it doesn't sit too stiff. But I will show you some more of those as we go through the team's photos. Now, of course, this will be on special for a couple of days with our pattern release. You get 15% off as per any pattern release. Um, and I will pop a couple of patterns in there as well that the team have used for their sets. This is a great accompaniment to a set. Looks great, like a set as in same fabric. So it looks awesome with the coastal skirt, Bree Spirit skirt, which is our gathered skirt. The Vacation Vibes, which is our woven palazzo, like really wide leg pants. 
If you want something narrower, the Coco wide leg pants. So gathered waist and they sit a lot slimmer than the Vacation Vibes. The swing shorts, they look really cute. You will see them on the pattern listing. I will list them for you in case I've forgotten any. So let's take a quick look at the tops that I have managed to make, that I did make before I did this. And then I will show you the team videos. So this one is linen from East Coast Fabrics. It has the mid neckline. You can see with this gorgeous binding. This is length two. And I had intended to pop elastic on the bottom of this one so that I could tuck that in, or it looked like I tucked it in to my skirt. This little set is a linen blend from Spotlight. I've done the high neck and then I've just tucked it in to the coastal skirt. It looks really cute, worn out as well, maybe just with the little tuck. Again, I haven't hemmed mine yet, but it's still quite fabulous. And lastly, I have a linen from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast, and I managed to hem this one, and I'm wearing it with the Walk Boldly pants. So it is a great option for work whether you want to wear it on its own or under a blazer it makes a nice just easy and it's just as fabulous on the weekend with your favorite shorts now stay tuned for the team's videos and they will show you the other neckline and the other lengths and finishes let's take a look Let's start with Melanie's first. She's using a tensile. She has made a size 20 with a two size full bust adjustment and she has added the elastic along the hemline. It is really simple to do. For this next one, she is wearing it with the coastal side split skirt. And this is using the mid neckline and length number two. Mel is quite tall. And this skirt is the Dream On skirt. And then she's just teamed it now with ready to wear jeans and jacket. So you can dress it up, dress it down, whatever you like. Looks fabulous. And then for this next one, she has used a bamboo rayon. She has teamed it with the vacation vibes cut into shorts. Um, again, size 20, two size four bust adjustment, and this is length three and the mid neckline. Next up we have Sophie. Sophie has made a size 12, used the mid neckline and length number two. She's also added elastic into the hemline and she's wearing it with the Free Spirit skirt. The fabric she has used is rayon. Next up is Erica. She has teamed it with the Slay All Day skirt. She's used the casing option for her elastic. And you see here, she can flip it up or wear it down. She's wearing a size eight and length one made from rayon Shelley. I adore all of Meredith's. For this one, she actually cut the top in linen on the bias and it just worked out beautifully. Size 10, one size full bust adjustment, length one in a lightweight linen and she's teamed it with the Vacation Vibes and then the Coastal Skirt. Her next one is a cotton gauze. She's done the elastic hems, the high neckline and length one. And then the last one is, again, cut on the bias, this time with a centre front and a centre back seam. And with the hem panel on, along the bottom, it's length two, and she's teamed it with the coastal side split skirt. Next, we have Mon. I love this top. It looks so dressed up and work appropriate, but still just classically beautiful. This is a size 14 length one and with the elastic around the hem and it's in a linen and then the next one is in rayon same size 14 this is length two just the normal turned up hem 
I love this color on Terry. She has teamed her top back with the Free Spirit skirt. Her top is size 14 with a three size full bust adjustment. So the two, she used the two and then we did a one size full bust adjustment on top of that and graded to a 24 at the hips. High neckline and length four with the narrow hem and she used a rayon shell. She's used the mid neckline in length two and it is a cotton. And lastly, this adorable set, she has paired it with the getaway shorts and it's a poly cotton. She's used length two, the low neckline, and put the elastic in the hemline. Natty has chosen length one. It's size 14, one size full bust adjustment, high neckline, sewn in a poly crepe fabric. Isn't this next one fabulous? Instead of using the facing, she has cut out the top twice, once in the lining, and then sewn it all together. Cherie's top is a size 10. She's used the high neckline and length two, and it is a linen. And for her check one, this is a size 10 as well, the high neckline, length one this time, and with the hem facing, and she's used a caution. Amanda's is a size eight. She's used the mid neckline here, length two with the elastic casing and it's a cotton boil. Maureen has made a size 16. She's used the high neckline and it is length four and it's a linen. Efrat has used a very slippery satin viscose, but it turned out beautifully. Size 20, length one, the mid neckline and just the plain hem. Sally has chosen length one for hers. It is a cotton poplin, size 14, two size full bust adjustment and the mid neckline. For this next one, she has used the drawstring pattern hack in the tutorial. Laura has made a size 20 with a one size full bust adjustment. She's used the mid neckline and length four and it is sewn in a rayon. Megan has used a rayon Shelley for hers. She's sewn a size 20 with a one size full bust adjustment and graded to a size 26 at the hem in length four. Next up is Amanda. Isn't this adorable? She has sewn a size eight with a, in a crepe fabric. And then her next one is in the length four this time and it is a crepe de chine. Stacy has made her top in a rayon. She's made it in length three with the mid neckline. It's a size 22 with a two size full bust adjustment. Jody has made a size eight in rayon. She's chosen the high neckline and length two and she's wearing it with the cocoa wide leg pants. Her next one also size eight. This is length three, high neckline and it is in a crepe and worn with the walk boldly pants. Elise has made the size 12 with one size full bust adjustment, high neckline length one, and she's used a linen cotton. Liv has used a tablecloth linen-like fabric. She has done it with the center front seam and then cut her fabric in the different directions. She's made size 14 length one and just hemmed it. For her other pair, she has used length two and put the elastic in the waist. And she has teamed it with the swing shorts. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the group.